big fan of, of keeping the drive alive. So if someone's dancing, I'm dancing. Huge seas and gale force winds have cleared the beach of people. Except for one man. Look, this guy's just stoked. He's just stoked. He's fully composing something, eh? And we were a little bit confused because he was throwing his arms out. It was like Thor or something. It was like some sort of god. People normally do that on a dance floor. It's just that he's doing it in front of the raw ocean. It's deep house, mate. It's just deep. Oh, he's finishing up. I'm calling that he's not done. I'm right. He's, he's coming back. You reckon with another trash? He had a look up here, didn't he? He's got more to offer this bloke. Oh, he's going back. Can you go down and find out what music he's listening to, please? But before you do, we'll have a little guess yeah. on what he's going to... What is? I'm, I'm calling genre of his house. I mean, it looks like his house job. We really didn't know, because he was um, just throwing out some more inspiring moves, and it had to be something good. What's he going, man? Want to get him up here? Oh, Let's get him up here. Yeah. Yeah. Go get him up here. I'm not gonna... Yeah, I'll get him up here. What better way to find out than go down and have a little dance with him and, and ask him, what is it? <laughs> so that's what I did. <laughs> what are you listening to, mate? Some DMX. Can I have a listen? Yeah. Oh, here he's got it on. He's putting the headphones on. Come on. 18-year-old traveller Jake is on holidays from London. And it looks like he's found a soulmate in Aussie lifeguard Jethro. So I had a chat with him and I was like, Jake, mate, the boys are wondering, you know, what you're listening to. You're keen to come up and, and have a chat. They, they want to speak to you. And he's like, yeah, yeah. This is Jay. Oh, yeah, Ledge. Hello. Hello. How are you? Uh, yeah, how are you? Uh, fully. Oh, right. uh, Where's he from? I don't know where there's so many people in there. What, what so genre of music are you listening to? What are you listening to? Uh, we need to know what you're listening to. Some, some sort of gangster rap. Is this in a DMX? Oh, DMX. Oh, yeah. Mouse just came out of nowhere and said, mate, do you rap? Can you rap? And we all looked at each other like, he can't rap. He's not a rapper. Um, <laughs> British kid rapping city when I get through getting it down with the people of Bondi rescue. Oh! Oh, I'm rapping, but I'm drowning off a lifeguard. Oh, yeah. 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 They be acting crazy. They go into the chat and up and they won't save me. Oh. When I go to the bottom of the seabed, go, then I go to a sea red, red lights flash up and I'm drowning. Muscular flexing, get the death. <laughs> Repping England, the UK, come through the dudes no. play on the beach of UA. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was awesome. That was epic. <laughs> that was unbelievable. That was proper. In the silly season, it's hard to tell if people start acting weirdly or weird people just start turning up in bigger numbers. What's going on here? <laughs> something's up, something's sus. It's not a flash mob like they're going to get yeah. nude and flash. No. You're going to get naked. Back in my day, mate, <laughs> if you flash, you means you're nude. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, two seven-foot drag queens appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> I definitely needed backup. Hello? Welcome. Have they done anything? No. I'm just getting around. Here we go. There's a flash mob. I'm a big fan of, of keeping the drive alive. So if someone's dancing, I'm dancing. Initially, Jethro was attracted to the action. Now the action is attracted to Jethro. It's bloody warm for all this get up, isn't it? I'm not wearing much. I'm wearing more than I would normally wear. It's always hard when I'm bigger than the lifeguards. I'll stand back here. Yeah, I was intimidated to say the least. 
It could be a case of opposites attract, but Jethro actually shares something in common with his new friends. Yeah, how are you going? We've got similar hair. Oh, yeah, like, you, know, you and I, we've got the same hairdresser. It's quite funny, it's a bit of a scene. I haven't seen that many, many drag queens in my time. But once they started coming at me live, I was a bit worried. <laughs> You condition yours. <laughs> Mine's a little so grindy. Want to feel? I felt yours. Smell it. Yes. It's oh, nice. feel for We're a not feel. that kind of drag. <laughs> we wanted you to come and join in the dance. Well, maybe we could do it together. <laughs> maybe next time. Oh, maybe I'll just throw myself on the water and then we could bust a move out there. <laughs> All right, it's too hot out here, boys. I don't know how you do it. We're taking our heels and running. We're going for a beer. Uh, Thanks for keeping it oh, on. You look a fair bit like that one in the green cave. I don't mean to be rude. Maybe if, you know, like, gun um, doesn't fall through, I could... <laughs> <laughs> Take care of it. Right, you want to have a strong brow. Strong brow. All, all the seven. Yeah, it's not a, not a regular surf comp, this one. It's a, it's a fancy dress surf comp, so there's a heavy emphasis on being outlandish with your costumes and getting dressed up and having a bit of fun with it. Maybe like a nice gloss or something? I think I need to redo Look, I've had a few hints that I do look better as a girl than as a bloke, so... I come as Brittany. Yeah, when I looked in the mirror, I was a little bit conflicted. Like, I come off heaps better than I thought. Yes, Jethro! Yeah, wow, Jethro. He pulls it off. I'm not going to say much more, but he pulls it off. Oh, my God, look at Joel. For you guys. <laughs> what are you dressed as, Pharaoh? Pharaoh? I'm Cleopatra, the most beautiful woman in the world. Pharaoh. Pay some respect. While the boys bring the sparkle, it's Jules who steals the show. Oh, yeah, look at Jethro. Yeah. Coming dressed as Jethro. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Same height. Yes. <laughs> the camaraderie between the team is, you know, very strong throughout the season. You know, we had our ups and downs. You know, we all work long hours, and it's great to see everyone clock off a bit and have a bit of fun and let our hair down at the end of the season. Injured lifeguard Jethro is tasked with shoe duties. I got one hand too. Like, how are you supposed to give a two-shoe job to a one-hand guy? I'm off it. <laughs> It's a tradition among lifeguards to play pranks during the race. And this year is no different. I really want to um, rustle Muzz's feathers. <laughs> I want to fill his shoes with sand. You're going to blow up. <laughs> Given Mario is already in last place, it hardly seems fair. Coming out of nowhere, Clipper, Clipper and Jacko. Yeah, Jess, who was coming in first? Mate, we have Chapo, close by Reedy. Chapo's coming in first for the lifeguards, so bit of a shock. As the run leg begins, go chips! A hungry pack close in on Chapo. Get those meat legs going, baby! Oh god! Get them going, mate! Get them going! Oh, Is that far behind you? But at the bottom. I wonder where the Italian stallion is right now. Oh, let's get it up then. <laughs> uh, Venture to Jesse, where's our little Italian friend Mario? Silence. <laughs> He's disappeared. Mario is coming last. <laughs> That's all you, brother. Let's go, Muzz. Yeah. Here comes the Italian stallion. Moving up. While it's tough at the top, it's even tougher at the bottom. Mother oh, look at this. This <laughs> bastard. <laughs> They're bastards. <laughs> Off he had to do a little bit of deconstructing of the sandcastles when he got back to Tama. Oh, I found the sandcastles here. <laughs> <laughs>